Today we take on Erzgebirge Auer. It's a tricky away game, but one we should be winning. And if we do, we finish the first half of the season on top of the pile. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you very much for coming back to this Kaiserslautern series. We are straight in here with the highlights before we get to today's match against Erzgebirge Auer. Um, you can see we drew 1-1 away at Heidenheim after that late, late win last video um, against Fortuna Dusseldorf. We scored in the very, very first minute and we conceded in the very, very last minute. Um, it was... It was a dull game, in fairness. We should have won it. We didn't take what few chances we did create. And if you don't do that, you're always likely to be punished, especially by a team that are right on your coattails. And we left it very, very late in our next game at home against San Pauli. A spectacular volley from substitute Elias Hoot in the 94th minute got us a win in a game we did dominate. But again, we struggled to create anything really, really clear cut. But we got the win, we got it over the line, and as you saw from the league table at the start, a win today, and we'll finish the Hinrunder on top of the league. So yeah, as you can see, Bayer Leverkusen drew 0-0 away at Fortuna Dusseldorf. A tough game for them, so a decent point. Keeps Fortuna Dusseldorf just outside the, um, the top three there. They're five points behind at the minute. Um, and as I say, if we win, we will go two points clear. It's a big old game. It's a tough game. Erzgebirge Auer currently occupying the relegation playoff slot. So they're going to be fighting for everything they've got to try and get us, um, to, you know, to try and get the result against us. Um, we are suffering with a few injuries. We've just lost, I think, three players in the build-up to the game. Uh, Thomas Shanto is suspended for accumulated yellow cards. Avdo Sparhic has just pulled, uh, picked up a little knock. He's going to be out for a couple of days. A um, bit more worryingly um, is... Phineas Bonang, uh, Bonianga, he's been doing all right for us. He's been having little cameos here and there, and he's been doing pretty well for us, but he's out for a good two, three, four weeks now. Um, and, yeah, so we are struggling a little bit in terms of coverage. We don't have a lot of good stuff in the um, in the um, youth teams at the minute. But speaking of which, if you follow me on Twitter, I posted a screenshot of our youth intake preview and I will show you it after the game, after this match, because I am damn excited about it. I can tell you that right now. Um, but we will get into this match. We are playing with a young kid at right back um, because Dominic Shad is out injured as well. He got injured in, I think it was the one-all draw at Heidenheim. I think he, I think he got knocked. Yes, he did because Irma Usden, Irma Usden, um, he got, he, he made his debut in that previous game um i'm just gonna go hands on hips this time i do normally go pump fists but i'm just gonna i'm i'm just hands on hips just say we can go top and that's what i'm expecting boys so let's hope um let's hope we can we can turn it on today and pick up a really good away win they're going with the 4-2-3-1 as well but let's get straight into it Um, so yeah, I mean Jonas Veyand, he hasn't played many games for us, but he's done alright when I've used him in the cup games, when I've used him in friendlies, things like that, so I'm not too worried about putting him in. Um, but if if we do go up, there's going to be a lot of work needs doing to the, um, to the squad, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to encourage the entire team. It's gone down alright, it tends to be my, in, if, if it's still nil-nil, so sort of around about 12, 13, 14 minutes. It tends to be the one that I do. And it's been terrible so far. And we've got a highlight here now. But it might not be for us. Ritsuto on the overlap. It's gone. Oof. That was a bullet header and he's put it over. 25 minutes in. We've not had a shot on goal yet. Right, I'm going to berate them. You've had your little encourage. 
Now it's time to pull your fingers out, boys. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is woeful. Oh, come on. Right, here we go. Marlon Ritter. Oh, it's gone in. It's Gerrit now. It's not going to count, is it? it? Oh, it's an own goal from... Is that the keeper? Eric Burko. I think it came back off the bar, didn't it? And hit the keeper. Which is a shame because Marlon Ritter, the assist king, isn't going to get it. Oh, did it come off his... Yeah, it was... I, I, is Berko? Let me just have a look. Oh no, Berko was back defending. I think, I think the keeper must have touched it onto him. But we've got the goal. That's what matters. We've got the breakthrough, and it's two 0 and it's Lucas Spalvis. Those deadly long throws are causing havoc, and Lucas Spalvis. I do like the long throw. Never really used them before. But, oh, the keeper came out there. That is a shocker from the keeper. Why is he coming all that way out? He's got his entire defence in front of him. Ah, uh, you do see it, don't you? Keepers do do it. And with Tooney look from one shot and goal. Love that. <laughs> um, I am now going to pump fists. Do you know what? Go out there and prove to the pundits they were right to back you up. Yeah, I don't use that one often. Let's do that one. No real fitness concerns at the minute. 2-0 up. We're going top of the league, boys. Come on. It's a terrible performance, though. It's a terrible, terrible match. I'm going to demand more. So I've got a feeling this is going in, and it is Pascal Testroit. Testroy, Testroit. I'm guessing maybe Dutch, maybe French. It's kind of like a French first name, Dutch second name. Not good. Not good. I mean, they deserve to be in the game. They've been a better team. We've been terrible. Um, oh, we've lost. Oh, we lost Gerrit now, but to injury. That is okay. Um, I will bring Manu and Ando on, but I'm just going to swap them around because I like Manu and Ando on the right-hand side of defence. Um, two centre mids have both got yellow cards. Wow. Hickmet Chifchis having an absolute stinker. So we will bring on Nicholas Sessa. What if I switch them to around? Doesn't really matter. So a double change. Come on. Right, here we go. Marlon Ritter with the corner. In it goes. Headed away, but Sickinger gives it him back. Gets past one, gets past another, and I don't. I thought they, I thought that I got put out. I didn't realise he'd put that out. I thought he should have had a penalty there for that first challenge. That was not a good challenge at all. Who have we got on the bench? Lucas Rosa probably isn't going to be with us at the start of the uh, second half of the season. He is wanted and. He wants to go because he's not playing, which is fair enough. Um, I don't know what to do with the last change. Do I take off Carlos Sickinger because he's been booked? Or do I, do I take off Marlon Ritter? He's not having a great game, is he? Should we take him off and we'll bring on Arion Shakiri? Why not? Let's do that. Um... Give the kid, give the kid twenty meaningful minutes. We're only two one up. It's a big, a big opportunity for him. But I've got a funny feeling it's going to go two two here. Oh, oh, that's a shocker from Jonas Way, and oh, that's gone straight through him, hasn't it? Oh, <laughs> Jan Hockscheidt has scored, and that really was Hockscheidt from Veyand. Wow, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Oh, I really thought the whole 2 0 up bug had gone, <laughs> but it hasn't, has it? Oh, that is. Oh, that is. That is an absolute stinker. Heidenheim have scored in their game late on. Six minutes added on. We're not going to win it. It's going to peter out, and it's a, for a 2-2 draw, 
I, it's a terrible game. Really terrible game. And I am going to... I'm tempted. Do you know what? Oh, do I throw the water bottle? No, I'm just... Oh, do I throw the water bottle? Yes. Yes, we do. We chuck it. Oh, it went down well. That went down pretty well. Normally when I do that, it scares them. But that's gone down pretty well. That... What a disappointing way. Oh, he's put, still put us top. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, Union Berlin won 5-2. We beat Union Berlin 5-1 in the friendly. Um, Heidenheim have won, so they've closed the gap at the top as well. So it's getting very, very interesting going into the... Oh, my word. Garrett now was out for four months. Oh, he can go to a specialist. Oh, God. That is not good. That is not good. But we are top of the league on goal. Well, not even on... I don't... It must be on goal scored. We must be top on goal scored. Um, we are, because we scored 42. Because everything else is pretty much the same. Um... That is it for the first half of the season, or the Hinrunde, as it is known in Germany. Our next video... Wow, we've got a long old... Uh, the winter break in Germany is mad. I mean, it, yeah, it's about six weeks. Um, but we're not going to come back for that game against Nuremberg, obviously. We are coming back for the trip to Signal Iduna Park. We are coming back for the Pokal. I hope you will join me for that, guys. As always, smash the like button to... Ooh, no, scratch that. Youth intake. Youth intake. I have never had one that looks as good as this. There is a hell... Of, well, they don't see any new strikers coming through or wing-backs, which is fine, so don't use wing-backs. Um, so, but... These are... It looks like the midfield's going to be really good. It looks like the German goalkeeper we've got coming through is good. Um, but this... This is a terrific group of players coming through and has the potential to be a real golden generation for the club. I have never, ever had that on any youth intake, ever. Barcelona, no matter who, I've never had that sentence on a youth intake preview. So, I mean, it's four months away yet, it's April, but I cannot wait to see what comes through the club now. If it's that good, it might be its own special episode. Um, but that is it for this one, guys. As I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself, uh, smash that like button, turn on the notifications and subscribe. Other way around, you know it. Uh, jump in the description, check out the series in South America that we've got going on. And as always, you can follow me on social media. The links are in the description and get in the comments and let me know how you're getting on yourselves. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.